Hello everyone, welcome to Grizz Zombies. I'm Violent, your guide, and I'm going to take you through the new Exo Zombies map called Carrier. This takes place on a big ship, and we got a lot of parts to go through. Uh, well, there's technically six steps, but there's a lot of parts for each step, and uh, that's what's going to take the most time here. So I'm going to be fading to black as we describe each step, and in the upper right corner are the numbers, so you can go ahead and skip through each step as need be whether you're in game or whatnot. So we're gonna start it off right away with getting some telefrags and this is how we're gonna be able to uh, get into the secret room where Chompy um, comes out of. So let's activate Chompy and then we're gonna shoot right after he leaves and see I missed. Uh, don't worry too much if you miss because he comes back around and he, they give you two telefrags. So you'll be able to hit it on the second try. So if it opens up, there you go, and then you need to activate a generator. Don't spend too much time looking around because that generator's mainly what you need to get. So activate that, and now what that did is activate the on the opposite side of the wall, the weapon disposal in the armory. And now you can use that for a future part of the next steps here coming up. So I'll explain that later, but in the same room, all you're going to need now are the telefrags and the explosive grenades. So to start this off, we need a telefrag to move over the dumbbell, a distraction drone, and another distraction drone. And what that's going to do is activate the first light. Okay, and we got three lights to activate. So to do the second one, to start off, we're going to, you know, telefrag it over. And then we're going to start with an explosive drone, a peg, and then a distraction drone, which will drop it down to the second marker. There we go. And now we need to peg it again, so an explosive drone. And then all we need is a normal grenade right after that. And that is going to knock it over to the second light, or activate the second light. So now we got that done, and we got one more to do. So we're going to telefrag it over. And then we're going to use an explosive drone, a peg. And then after that, we're going to need a nano grenade which will drop down to the second spot. And then we need an explosive grenade, which is a peg. Boom. And then we need a distraction drone. And I'm just telling you this because it's the fastest way. It's the best way I've known. And then we need a peg. And then we need a normal grenade after that. And that's the final one. And so when all three are lit up, it activates a code pad, which you can take over to the main vault. And I'm going to unlock this door real quick. And we're going to see what Oz has got to say. Since you're hallucinating, allow the good Oz to narrate. Captain's Log, Day 10. This voyage of the damned has made everyone fucking crazy. I hear whispers of mutiny. I've taken precautions to lock the door to the engine room so that no one will have access. I then hid the codes where no one can find them. Really? No one? Captain's Log, Day 11. I was confronted today by some of my senior staff. They demanded the access codes. I reminded them who was in charge of this vessel, and they reminded me I was only one man aboard a ship of hundreds. Okay, and now we're going to head back to the weapon disposal, and over there we're going to give him weapons until he gives us a bottle. Now that bottle will drop on the ground, and what that does is make you extremely drunk and makes you walk funny, but at this part of the Easter Egg, you need that bottle there, and you're going to have to be drunk in order to activate this keypad over in the bio lab. So we're going to activate that keypad, and on the left, it's going to give us a timer, and we're going to hop around the grid marks here and uh, jump and jump and try and make it the best we can. So you're going to see that I mess up here. And the reason I put that there is because none of us are perfect, all right? And it's going to probably take you a few times to get this. I always screw up on it, but I end up getting it eventually every time. But you're going to hop over that freaking crate, and that's going to be the hardest part. And then once you make it to here, you're pretty much safe. So you're going to crouch walk through that, move all the way around, and then jump up on that ledge, hop through these little things, and around and around. And then you're going to get to the end of this maze and there's going to be a teleporter. I'll push X a million times. I would just do it to be safe, but that timer's going to end. And you'll notice another code pad was given to you, so let's turn that into the vault. Oh, shit, I gotta read another one of these. Okay. Captain's Log, Day 12. The crew tried a different tack today. Chief Officer Darla met me in my private quarters and... Oh my... 
I don't think I should read the rest. Wow, is that legal? Darla, I salute you. We all salute you. All right, tropical island time. So we're building a fishing pole. As you can see right away, he got the part for the uh, the reel. And now we're working on the string and the hook. So what you're going to need to do is turn weapons into the weapon disposal. The best method I've found is to hit up the box and to just give it your box weapon. And you're not going to want to choose your dream weapons yet because passing this part is... You just have to do it. you got to give away a weapon. So now that we got the reel or the uh, string, we're going to put that into the reel. And now we need a hook. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the box and see what we get. We get the, ooh, we get the Cell 3 Cauterizer, and the Ulm is usually the weapon that I like, but we're going to need to shoot down a treasure drone later, so I'm going to give it the Ulm, and he's going to hook me up with that hook. Now we're going to go put that on the fishing pole, and now that we have that crap out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start pounding away at these teleporting zombies. So, those teleporting zombies drop apart. Now after we kill each one, they drop like this half a telefrag, and we're just going to move on to round 19 because that's when we finally completed the teleporter. So now we're able to go to the island, but we do need a shovel once we get there because this is how we're going to dig up the next code pad. So we're going to head over to the tropical island and just dig. And we're going to dig everywhere because it spawns differently each time. There's no like set place that it spawns. And uh, we're going to eventually come across it here, and it's a box that pops up, and it's got your code pad in it. You're going to want to grab it as quick as possible because that uh, t it teleports you back really fast. I had to do it twice to get this part, but we're going to turn it in. Day 13. Darla turned on me as I knew she would. Despite the untold pleasure and pain she inflicted upon me, I would not give up the codes. I'm bleeding out from the stab wounds and blah, blah, blah. I think I should go back and reread day 12, no? All right, guys, step five. We're going to head over to Captain DJ's locker, and you're going to need to push X on the locker. I was I already had an audio cue on it, so it played over, but uh, you'll say it needs an eye scan, right? So now what we're going to need to do is get a lever first, and it takes time to get this. It's going to take a couple rounds to spawn, but uh, we have two Cell 3 cauterizers at level 27 to take this down. Before it flies away uh, and we got lucky believe it or not this is a hard step to pass and I wish everyone luck on it but when you finally get this part you're gonna need to take it down to the moon pool I'm gonna decontam quick and then on the wall by the box there is a panel that with a slit and you just put it right there by pushing X and that's gonna allow us to bring down the cage when we attract the shark so well at that point we're gonna need a fish so go ahead to go back to the fishing pole and get yourself a fish I, we fish. We spent thousands, of, thousands of dollars trying to get this fish, but we finally got it right. So, I would have an experienced player down here during this point, especially at the higher rounds. But there are three glass panels. And you're gonna need to kill zombies on top of them so their blood squirts. Shark ball. Now we get an audio cue saying a shark's coming. So right when that happens, go ahead and activate that cage and drop it down, because you're gonna have the red herring fish, and we're gonna need to trade that out for the eyeball here. So go ahead and jump on the cage, and then just drop in, and anticipate when the cage starts moving, that's when the shark's touching it. So, this cage starts moving, I'm turning to my right, and I see it, I'm ready for it, I hit X, and that's the swap for the eyeball. So now that we got the eyeball right, we can now scan uh, Captain DJ's locker and get inside and get the goodies. And the goodie is another code pad, that is the final code pad that we need. So we're going to go ahead and grab that code pad. And we're going to take that back over to the vault where Oz is at. And we're going to get that audio cue here, and let's listen to it. First officer's log, day 15. I, I think I'm infected. has gone missing. Well, no shit. It's because Dark did not die. Quote, we assume he is dead. Darla pretends to have no knowledge about it, but I'm going to miss you to see her. Perhaps she'll target me next. You shall have some more for yourself, is it? Okay, guys, so we now have five code pads turned in, and if you're down to this part, breathe. You have basically, we're to the end. We need to go to the weapon disposal yet and turn in any weapon. He's going to give us a C4, and we're going to use that to blow up this ship. 
And we're about to have the badass cutscene here, fellas. So let's go ahead and turn that in. And, uh, yep, we do have it. There it is. We Victory. Game over. Okay, we got the Flot Sam and the Jet Sam achievement. That did it. This ship's about to become one big tax write-off. <laughs> Who pays taxes? Hey, no one gives a fuck, okay? We got two minutes before we're all guzzling seawater. Move! There! Lilith, what are you doing? Oz? Are you kidding me? Oz is dead. That asshole shot him. It's just another stupid zombie. Let's just go already. Come on, people. We don't have time for this. Shit. Oz, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I can't wait for Reckoning. We got one more map pack to go, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this Easter egg. This has been Violent from Grizz Zombies, your guide to the Call of Duty Apocalypse.